Welcome to section 7.3. All right, gentle people, let's start out with a quiz question. So I want you to think about water that you've interacted with. If I were to write this reaction, water interacting with itself to give H3O plus plus OH minus, which side of the equilibrium do you think is favored? I hope you said the left side. If you have a glass of water, it's not super acidic or super basic. Water is pretty neutral and you're not making a lot of H plus ions or OH minus. So the equilibrium is highly reactant favored in this given reaction. Now this is a well noted reaction. This is the auto ionization of water or sometimes referred to as the dissociation of water. If I were to go ahead and measure this auto ionization at 25 degrees, I can measure the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide concentration. Each one of these would be one times 10 to the negative seven. I can simplify the reaction into this one. And so both of these reactions are the same reaction. Now, if I go ahead and look at these reactions, these reactions are equilibriums. So I can go ahead and write an equilibrium constant associated with this. But this time, I'm going to put a little W here. So remember, the subscript tells you what type of reaction you're after. When you have a W on the bottom, what I'm talking about is one of these two reactions. I'm talking about the auto ionization of water. So if I were to go ahead and do the equilibrium constants, products over reactants, raised to their stoichiometric coefficients, what I would see is Kw, the equilibrium constant, is only dependent on H plus and OH minus because water is a liquid. So then based off of this, I can calculate Kw. And so Kw at 25 degrees is a constant it's one times 10 to the negative 14. So much of acid-base chemistry is done in water using that equilibrium. Now, what you guys will notice is that there is a vast array of concentrations chemists work in. We can have solutions where our H plus concentration is one, maybe six molar, all the way down to one times 10 to the negative 15. To give you guys an idea how big this is, if you had one dollar, well, Jeff Bezos is a billionaire, and so billion means that he has nine zeros, so that would be one times 10 to the ninth. That's still not a big a difference as how big a difference H plus concentrations can vary inside water. And so to help us manage such a vast scale or large scale, what we're going to do is we're going to use a logarithmic scale or a P scale. So what we have is something called the pH. The pH means I'm going to take the negative log of my H plus. Now P just means take the power of. So if I have pH, it's the negative log of H plus. If I have pOH, it's going to be the negative log of OH. And if I have pKa, it's the negative log of Ka. So P anything, what us scientists mean is just take the negative log of whatever that anything is. And you guys can take a look at how the pH is trying to help us. What it really is doing is taking that scientific figure and honing in on that. And so if I have one times 10 to the negative fifth, the pH would be five. 1 times 10 to the negative 9th, 9. 1 times 10 to the negative 11th is going to be 11. So it's basically saying what exponent is that 10 raised to? And now you guys can see why we go ahead and use the pH scale. This is a difference of 10,000 or 4 pH units. This is a difference of 100, which is 2 pH units. So what I'm hoping to do is put in context what you guys probably saw in high school. Now, what you guys saw in high school is probably a pH scale from one to 14. If you've ever wondered why it was stopped at 14, Kw equals one times 10 to the negative 14. And that's because the pH scale is really useful in water. Outside of it, 
it's kind of a weird scale. But I also want to emphasize that this is a logarithmic scale. For example, you guys see that our ocean water is about 8.2 pH units. Now, people are worried about ocean acidification. And what they were worried about was this was the pH around 1950. Nowadays, it's closer to 8.1. Now you might think to yourself, well, that's just 0.1 difference, that's not a big deal. But this corresponds to a 25% increase in H plus concentration. That means that I increase the acid content in the ocean by 25%. Well, Chem1B, I hope that made sense, and remember to stay safe.